Let's take an early look at the Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 update coming very soon. Today we get a teaser from IW over on Twitter. First up for the new Warzone 2 Resurgence map. Here's the video in the background. A very interesting video. At the end here, we have attack map reveal tomorrow. Hashtag Resurgence returns. And we get a bunch of information here from this. So first off, the name of the Resurgence map is officially called Ashika island of course a japanese theme as we talked about and at the end of that teaser video apparently that also translates to sea lion i don't know what that means maybe it's some type of easter egg maybe there'll be sea lions outside of the island that if you fall in the water they'll attack you and kill you i, I don't know just a theory there but that's what that translates to but overall pretty cool stuff of course ashika island that makes complete sense I i'm glad they're keeping that island to have the similarity to rebirth island so for you know more casual players they could just look at that and think oh another island map this must be a smaller rebirth island style map i'm gonna go hop on and play this here because a big problem with warzone 2 right now is that the player count numbers have fallen off a cliff and for most people, especially during Caldera, all anyone was playing was Rebirth Island and also Fortune's Keep as well. So this could definitely be a great way to bring people back into the game. A good fast-paced resurgence map with a you know pretty good name is a good start. Of course, we'll get a full gameplay preview of the map tomorrow, which I'll go through on the channel. I'll probably stream tomorrow as well, so be sure to stay subscribed for that. But if you've been watching my channel for a couple of months now, you already know what this new resurgence map looks like here. So Charlie Until tweeted this out. The resurgence map outline teased in today's video is identical to the leaked image back from December. And here is the image up on screen. I boosted the color. I got rid of some text here. And, you know, here's what it looks like. This is the exact same layout, of course. I'll put the tack map reveal there. And then this one here, the leaked image, this is exactly what the map's going to be like. I, I remember telling you guys, like, oh, this might not be the exact look here, but it's pretty much going to be this here. Now, the names might be a bit different. Uh, of course, this is a leaked version of it, so greenhouses might not be called greenhouses. Apartments might be a slightly different name, but overall, I, I could easily see this being the exact look of the map. So to go through again, we have greenhouses on the left, apartments, water treatment, power plant, Town Center, Beach Club, Industrial Ruins, Castle in the Middle, Residential at the top, Shipwreck top right, and a Port Area to the right. So a pretty cool map. Of course, we got to see actual gameplay to look at the aesthetic and the feel, but it seems like it could be pretty cool. Very green, some buildings mixed in between, the castle in the middle. I mean, looks like a cool vibe overall. Now, for the map itself, someone has tweeted out or responding to Charlie Intel and said pretty much if you search up Ashika Island, this kind of comes up here. Now, again, this is a very dull looking island that apparently is uh, right outside or uh, right off the coast of Japan somewhere. I mean, it, it's not going to look like this, obviously. This is not the shape of the island. This reminds me of a Rebirth Island style here. So maybe they, they might take some inspiration from these apartments there. They're just the Japanese style apartments. I, I'm not so sure, but I just wanted to show you guys that uh, pretty interesting stuff there. And overall, again, as we know, for DMZ, we're getting this same map here for that mode, which is going to be so, so cool. A new DMZ landscape, new missions as well. That's going to be very exciting. And IW also gave us a pretty important update here for DMZ in Season 2. They said this, for additional clarity on DMZ, insured weapon slots will not reset with Season 2, which is very, very exciting because insured weapon slots, of course, you're getting if you get uh, all Tier 3 missions done. So that, you know, not resetting is a really, really big W. People that grind it, you don't have to grind again. I do think they're still resetting the overall missions, but if you already got that, you're not going to, you know, have your insured weapon slot removed. So pretty, I'm pretty sure that's how they're doing it there, which, you know, makes a lot more sense overall. So big W there for DMZ for sure. Now again, Warzone 2, DMZ getting some pretty major updates. We'll get a bunch of info tomorrow, but what I'm still waiting for and what a lot of people are still waiting for is some updates on the multiplayer content in this game. So First off, again, we know we're probably not getting Castle from Vanguard and World at War. Obviously, Castle is a POI on the Resurgence map. Most likely, if they do have a Castle remake, it's just in Warzone 2. It's not going to be also brought into multiplayer, which makes complete sense. Again, we just saw Castle remade in Vanguard last year, and it wasn't really even a good remake. Aesthetically, it was cool. The map looks good. The layout just is not that fun. I mean, at least me personally, I don't prefer that type of layout. Uh, definitely way too big, way too many lanes, too much going on, too many lines of sight, too open. It's just a weird multiplayer map. So 
you know, if it's in Warzone, that's fine. For multiplayer, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, and we just saw it last year anyway, so, you know, most likely we're not getting that. Charlie Until also kind of hinted at that map not being a part of MW2, so that's that there. Uh, again, we do have rumors that Museum, you know, might be a part of Season 2. I don't want to talk too much about it because I know it's a trigger warning with a lot of people, but, you know, Museum might be there. Hopefully, again, we get other uniquely made MP maps for Season 2. So if they do bring us Museum, I want to see at least two other uniquely made MP maps. Uh, we had some theories and rumors about a Tokyo multiplayer map that actually leaked out back during Season 1, or even I think it was the launch of MW2. So that could make sense. That fits the theme of the, you know, Japanese Warzone 2 island map, Ashika Island. You know, that could be pretty cool. I could easily see that happening. So a newly made map in the city, uh, in the skyscrapers of Japan, Tokyo, like that would be really, really cool. So hopefully we get that. Maybe another one in uh, a Japanese forest. Uh, the, you know, Japan has a lot of cool geography. There's mountains. Uh, it snows there as well in the northern part of Japan. I mean, there's so many different things. Like you have islands as well, of course. So, you know, Japan has really sick geography. They could have a lot of cool uniquely made MP maps based around that region of the world and in that country so we'll see what we end up getting here definitely could be super cool for uniquely made mp maps of course the style maps i want to see mostly you know small to medium sized maps is what i prefer i know not everyone prefers that you know as i said i do want the overall game to have a good mixture of small medium and larger maps i think right now the game would probably benefit to you know have a couple more medium small medium maps not three lane maps but just you know smaller size maps i think there are currently a bit too many big maps especially for 66 playlists right now so hopefully we get that we'll see very soon now for other maps we could easily see in terms of remakes we have two pois on Almazra. that'd be so sick as mp maps terminal of course from mw2 also in mw3 and higher eyes from mw2 i mean these are two pois that are on the map right now definitely classic locations i think people would want to see them return as mp maps and it's literally in the game already so again i'm not a developer i don't know how much effort it takes to bring a poi from almazer and put it into multiplayer but if they want to do two things that would be pretty cool high rise and terminal would be those two so those are not confirmed of course but i think those are very very possible and very you know easy to do based on what i'm seeing here and based on my understanding of what goes on so if we get that that'd be fire two uniquely made mp maps Maybe at some point for the Reloaded Update Terminal, High Rise, Museum, add that back. That would be a pretty good selection, honestly, of multiplayer maps. Instead of just what we got for Season 1, literally just Shipment and Shoot House, and that's it. So I think it's going to be better than that. It can't get any worse than that. So hopefully that's what we get there. I'll be sure to update you guys on what we're getting for Season 2. Right when the information, the content, the gameplay is revealed, we'll be covering it on the channel. So be sure to subscribe for more MW2 Warzone 2 news update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And again, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow for the reveal of, you know, some Season 2 content, the Resurgence map, and maybe some other stuff as well. So that'll be tomorrow morning, probably around 11 a.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.